So I've arrived. Here's the ride I am hauling. Uh, got some problems right away. Look. You can see we pulled it out of the bushes already. It was up over there. It's about 10 feet behind where it was next to that orange trailer. So I've got two problems. One, I gotta slide that fifth wheel plate all the way back, otherwise it's going to hit the uh, uh, frame in the back there. So I gotta get that fifth wheel plate to slide back so it'll clear. And we don't want to tear mud flaps off. We've got several tail lights not working. Um, it's not super bad, but this corner light here isn't working. Um, the trailer brakes. Uh, I don't think they're working at all. The, the parking brake's not working, nothing. So. I mean, it's got pads on it. Well, that might be why there's no parking brake, because there never was a parking brake on this. This thing's so old, it's, it doesn't have spring cans. It's just got... Uh, standard small cans so it looks like oh that one's actually lit just barely but it's lit that one's lit so we've got one light in the back that needs to be re replaced and I gotta figure out how to slide that back otherwise we'll hit um, I have no uh, no tripod or anything or I'd set it up and show you but that's what I'm going to be working on here. I will get back at you. Okay. So our first bit of uh, excitement since uh, you guys seem to like breakdowns and that kind of thing. Uh, I have a pulley that's about to fall off the truck. I'm trying to keep the RPM low so that it doesn't fall off. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, but... It's a high pitch squeaking noise. And uh, it's not being as noisy right this moment, which kind of scares me because usually if it stops being noisy, that's when it's going to fall off and we're going to end up with problems stuck on the side of the road. I called ahead to a Loves. Hopefully they'll be able to fix it. And I am hooked up to the Carnival ride. I didn't get any more video uh, once that thing started squealing real bad. I uh, thought it would be more important to get headed that way uh, so we will uh, see how that goes and I'll show you what what uh, is broken when we get there it's just an idler pulley but when the idler pulley goes off then I lose my belts and I lose my power steering and my alternator and that these become bare to drive like that if they'll even run at all uh, old diesels they'd run just fine with no you can take you start them up take the batteries out they didn't care if they had any power uh, these new ones got all kinds of computers running them, and I know for a fact when this one hits low voltage, it stops uh, it stops working properly. It basically runs like two or three cylinders are down on an old gas burner. But uh, anyway, battery's about to die, so uh, I will get you a video and we'll get there. Well, like I was saying, I heard something squeaking. I came up here. See the gap on the top of that pulley there? Here? That's not supposed to be like that. And uh, I'm surprised that pulley's still on there. That thing's about to snap off. Uh, there's two belts on this truck. I guess I would have lost my, it looks like, what is that? My AC and my alternator would have gone out for that one. I don't see anything wrong with any of the other tensioner belts, although it's really hard to see. I'm actually kind of using you guys as a uh, relay for what I can see. Okay, well, other than that, I'm hooked up to the uh, carnival ride.
I had to change that light over there, I was telling you. That one. You can tell it's a lot newer than the other ones. Well, I don't know if you can tell with this camera is so crap. I know my camera's crap. My next videos are going to be better. When I get home, I'm going to get a different uh, phone. But this one, I have to change that one. Hopefully I can just do a bulb. None of the wires are jiggling. But anyway, that's our update. I got that fifth wheel plate slid back which makes it so that pump right there doesn't hit the back of my frame boy this trailer is crusty <clears throat> about 10 layers of paint on it makes you wonder about what your kids get in in the, the uh, carnival rides but I guess you know they're young they bounce back Uh, somebody whacked that door. I put that pin through the bottom there so it can only open so far. The other pin is in. Let's see. I was gonna. Oh, 40 pounds of air, that seems legit. Huh. I think the valve stem's all screwy on that, but this thing's so light, I'm just not gonna bother. I'll get out and ch test it with my uh, light tester, or with my temperature tester once we get down the road. So it doesn't matter how much pressure there is, as long as it's off the bead and it doesn't get hot. Trailer's not much more than basically an empty trailer with the weight of this carnival ride. See that one you can actually see is low. It's not too bad though. If I can get a pressure detector in there. Pressure sensor. See, that's funny. See, that one even has 70 pounds better than the one on the other side. But, and these are old uh, bias plies. They are only meant to actually have 90 pounds in them. The other fear I have is if you actually inflate those all the way, that it creates problems because they're dry cracked old tires. You don't really want to blow, have a blowout. I don't normally pull trailers that are in this rough of shape, but uh, it happens every once in a while. Looks like all the lights down this side are still working this morning. Let's see if a problem child over here is working. Yeah, it's working. This one here, if you even so much as bump it, it turns off, but I don't think it's really a safety hazard. Everything's secured well on this trailer. I mean, even though it looks like this ship is just chintzy, it's actually got metal brackets holding it in place. So, all that's really doing is keeping it from being sloppy and bending itself up. That bumper again. I like I felt that crack's getting worse. It's coming down to here now, instead of up here. But uh, we'll get more video down the road. Well, stopping to check the load. Just came over the pass here into California. Still don't have any 
brakes on this trailer, not that I took it in to have them fixed, but... This one's... This, <laughs> this one's for Robert. Look at the mountains. <laughs> Got a pretty good view out here. All the smokes from all these fires in California. Half their problem out here is they've stopped the logging industry from cutting any trees down. Uh, and they're water issue here is compounding it. Don't have any water to put the fires out and have too much undergrowth. They, uh, you know, get rid of the logging because they're trying to save the trees or the spotted owls. Well, spotted owls don't do too well when you burn the whole forest down. Responsible logging, you don't want to go and knock every tree down. Wouldn't be that hard to go out there and find out, you know, have somebody go out there and look what trees got big nests in them and leave those ones be and cut right on by. If I worked in Alaska for years right next to uh, bald eagles all day long and I promise you they didn't care when you were working right alongside of them. Shit cutting down all the trees would probably give them great hunting ground. All the mice wouldn't have any trees to hide under. But, you know common sense doesn't really work these days I'm just glad I made it past all the way stations with this uh, trailer nobody gave me flack I got another way station to go by but I got past the big ones uh, everything's still hanging on and I when I picked this up, it had sticker bushes growing up through it, so... Uh, anyway, just thought I would check in and show you guys the view. I'm gonna walk over here to the other side so you can see this side. Between the smoke and uh, my camera, I'm sure it doesn't do it justice, but Mount Shasta Vista Point, elevation 2,660 feet, or the Vista Point's 2,660 feet, Mount Shasta is uh, 14,000 feet. I wish I had a sleeper like that one. Those guys got, yeah, some of those guys have bathrooms, some of them have showers. That's a heck of a sleeper. I gotta stop again. The, uh, I, just down the road from that view. I didn't get very far. These, uh, Damn cubbies keep coming open on the side of this thing. These stupid things are supposed to have keys open shut. I'm just gonna uh put the put a piece of wire in there. Okay, so it's morning, I'm doing my walk around. I got five more hours of driving with this. It's amazing, I don't know if you can see all that mold. All that fucking mold growing on. Uh, of course, <clears throat> Natalie at Hot Trot Adventures, she'd be like, good morning, good morning, good morning. And no, it's it's just, just yeah, it's just morning, we're up. We'll leave it at that. There's still air in the tires. Most of my 
ties are still on there. It looks like one came off, but tires, lights are lit. Still don't have brakes. It's not gonna change. Those landing gear are pain in the butt. I've got some dunnage up there that put under there to crank down, but it takes like all my effort to uh, crank those things, all the rusty things. We walk around the truck. And in case you're wondering why you don't ever see me open the hood, it's because it takes two hands and takes time. I, don't have like a, anything but just my phone here. Soon I'll get one of those gimbals or whatever so I can hold it in one hand. Yeah, maybe with this next phone. When I get home, I'm gonna get a, another phone. I'll get some pictures of the, uh, we'll get some views under the hood too. I guess I got some views the other day when I uh, put that, or had that pulley problem. But uh, still. Seven hundred five thousand miles. There we go. Five more hours to my destination. Well, here's where I'm delivering. The guy has all kinds of old rides. He fixes them up, sells them, trades them, uses them, runs them, does all kinds of stuff. It's the one I'm delivering. Uh, I sent you guys, or I showed you guys a picture in the last video of one of the other ones I, uh, one of the other ones I hauled, and it's that one right over there, next to the tip top. Um, looks pretty much in the same place exactly the way I left it. And, uh, but this one's new, and as in it wasn't here when I was here last. Um, and so is that big, giant concession trailer right there. But he's got all kinds of stuff. It's kind of interesting. It's the storage yard I'm at. Like a funhouse slide thing there, I don't know. Looks like another swing type right there that one I'm sure goes up just like that one over there and then I don't know oh that's one of those up and down rides but and then little shacks or whatever you want to call these um, anyway yeah here's uh, where I'm delivering it I love that old Fruhoff trailer there it's his generator that white trailer. I'd love to have it for my classic uh, 69 Ford at home. If you watched my other, one of my other uh, videos, the 69 Ford C700 we are restoring. Um, and restoring is a rough word. I'm just trying to get it on the road. I'm not trying to make it look like a show car. I just want it to run and drive. Uh, that would be a really cool trailer to pull behind it. Anyway, I'm here so unless something exciting happens uh, between now and unloading this, he was talking about moving that one over there uh, and putting this one where it was and moving that one somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's kind of neat. All those uh, buildings are on wheels and they just wench them up on that trailer. It's got uh, tracks that those uh, buildings are on. I'm guessing, yeah, those ones got wheels under them too. So they just go on those tracks. Kind of neat. You can just back up that trailer where you want your building and drop it off. It's got them hooked together with some kind of hitch in between. You can pull them. I don't know. Anyway, hot dogs and cotton candy and everything. It's got darn near a whole small circus here. Or a whole small carnival here.
Boy, that's kind of a neat one there. Just looking at these, these are some classic rides. More of this stuff, just different angle on stuff. But, but yeah, that's that one I already towed. I guess he did take some stuff down off of it. It's all junk, but it's expensive junk. <sighs> I don't know. It's just me, I think that trail is really neat. You know, back in the day, this would have been like 40s or 50s, that would have been your semi-trailer delivering to local shops. Of course, back then, semi-trucks were not much more than just a uh, pickup with a fifth wheel plate. <laughs> They were a little stouter. I mean, they were five tonners, but they were the same trucks you see that are like hay trucks and grain trucks. But anyway.